Happy Monday, everyone. I'm uh, just, you know, having a lot of fun being able to share each week, you know, starting off the week with you guys. And today's video is especially important if you are an empath, if you are a sensitive being, because today we're talking about codes of creation number three, and that is being with your own energy. So what happens when someone tries to manifest or create often, especially if you're a sensitive being or an empath, is that you are creating from other energies, meaning if you are not clear on what's your energy and what's other, you can pick up other energy or the energy of others and start using your vessel for their creations. Okay, so I'm going to say that one more time. If you are an empath, a sensitive person, and you tend to feel the energies of other people, what can often happen in your creation process is that you are using your creation vessel, your body, your emotional field, your emotional body, your mind, your thoughts, <laughs> picking up other people's energies and using that to create. Instead of creating from your own energy, your own essence, your own soul, your own heart. So being with your own energy is very, very important in the creation process because if you're not only with your energy when you're creating, it's very likely that you are infusing your creations or diluting your creations with the energies of others. So. One of the most important things that I learned from, I call her my body whisperer, <laughs> is how to be with my own energy. I knew that I wasn't fully with my own essence, but I didn't quite know how to get there. Uh, but she gave me this really awesome tool. And if you're a feeler, an empath, you're going to love this tool. And it's simply to ask the question, how does it feel to be with my energy? And so when you ask the question for yourself, you say, how does it feel to be with my energy? And it's helpful to ask that question while you're alone <laughs> or in nature so that you can feel your energy. If you ask it in a crowd of people for the first time, you may not get a sense of your essence. Uh, so it's really helpful to do that and practice it while you're alone. And then as you practice it and you get more familiar with your own essence, your own soul, your own energy, when you go into a mall or a grocery store or a party or you know with your family or whatever and you're feeling overwhelmed by the energies of others you can ask yourself how does it feel to be with my energy oh yeah that feels pretty good <laughs> right it's really it's a really exciting tool this has absolutely transformed my world so in terms of creation then when you begin to focus on what you are creating you first want to get yourself in that space of how does it feel to be with my energy, my essence. I always close my eyes when I ask that question. <laughs> Closing my eyes helps me feel into it just for me personally. So you get into that space where you are feeling your essence, your heart, your soul, your energy. And then you begin to project and emanate what it is that you desire to create. And when you're doing it from the space of your soul, your heart, your energy, that projection, that emanation, the radiation of what you are creating is going to be so much more clear. And the universe will be like, oh yeah, okay, I heard that. <laughs> and it's clear instead of being diluted with the energies of everyone and everything else that you might be feeling. So if you have questions about this, feel free to put those in the comments below. I hope this was helpful for you. It's been absolutely transformational in my world, especially as I create my creations of light. And again, those of you who are tuning into these videos, this is practice for you, even you know, just to activate yourself or practice for you in preparation to come to our November retreat here in Sedona. And we are, the, the name of the retreat is Codes of Creation. And what we'll be doing in that retreat is going through this material and content that I'm sharing in this video series at a much deeper level so that you can really free yourself from the stuff that's not you and get clear on what is you and begin to create from your heart space, your soul space, the space of your essence and what your essence desires, what your soul desires. So that retreat is November 8th through November 11th, again here in Sedona. And if you are one of the first three registrants, 
you get a gift certificate to Chocolate Tree for $44.44. How cool is that? <laughs> so you can register at creationtemple.com slash retreat. And if you have any questions about that, feel free to put those in the comments below. Next week, we'll be back uh, again, probably Monday at 10 a.m. here in Pacific Time. And our topic next week will be about presence as the fourth code of creation. So much love to you all, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for being with me here today.